Hi, it's Random Communications, and I'm going to show you how I made my Skull Kid cosplay. Let me sit down. So we'll start with the hat. Here is the hat. I'm so proud of it. It has ten rays. Here's the front. And it's like this. It bends. It has, it has several components to it. It has the rays. It has the base hat. Here it is. It has this point and it has this foamy part. I'll talk about them later. And it has the little ringlets that sit on top of it. So, oh, I'm going to talk about the base hat first. I got this base hat that originally was a sun hat. Um, it had this going around it. Okay. And so originally I thought I'd just, you know, use this fabric and I'd kind of just cut them out into the rays, but you now it didn't work because it's too flimsy and it's not the right orange, and it's been a weird stuff. So I just cut it off. Okay. And then I bought this orange cloth. I really don't know what it's... I don't know what fabric it's made of, but it's it's light, it's kind of stretchy, and it has it's rough. And I picked it because it was light, and because it was red orange. That's really the qualities you need. And I don't know, you can like... I'll put it up close so you can like see it. I got about two yards of this, but you probably only need about four feet. So what I did is I would trace it out, tra I, I folded the cloth, okay, and so I got this, it, I folded it, and then what I did is I traced it, I traced out little rays, okay, and so I would have a mirror image on either side, ta-da, and so you want to have the folded part at the, at the, uh, small, uh, it doesn't matter which end, but you want to, um, have the, this, oh, this, the end, the big part be the open part, because you need to slide in the wire frame, because you can't, like, because you can't slide in a wider part at a smaller point, so you just kind of slide it in, and the wire frame is made of just standard hardware wire, and it's really easy to bend, I just bent it up, and kind of did that. It's really rough, but you can see the form of a ray. And I actually, this is important, I made the the ray longer than it would be on the hat, because what I did is pretend that this, I would bend this and put it against the base hat. Voila. Put it against the base hat right there, and then I'll stick it away. See, you can see the outline of the wires, and um, I sewed it around the wire on the inside of the hat, so it would stay there. And then I did that like ten times, and I bent it up how I wanted to. Uh, it's the hat's bent down in the back, and it has longer and fatter rays, and then it's kind of curved up in the front, and it sits here. Um. This wasn't necessary, but I liked it because it adds support. It actually has another wire around the rim of the hat, and that just adds the port support. And then the point of the hat it was actually just a witch's hat pattern. It's really easy to find, or you can just find a cone and cut that. Anyway, and uh, then I. To make this little pinch, I just super glued it and I cut it to make the little rough tassel-y part. And, well, I stuck this on without to test it out, and it just kind of lay flat. And that's not Skull Kid's hat. His hat isn't pointy, it doesn't it's lay flat, it's actually kind of round. So, I this part is squishy. It's made of chair foam that green stuff you buy at the fabric store. It's foamy and it's like a cushion and you could cut it. So I cut it into like this little dome thingy and I stuck it on top and then I hot glued it on and then I stuck this pointed part on and I hot glued that on and I made that. Voila. Isn't it glorious? Okay. Moving on. So I cheat because I'm not very good at sewing. So I just went to Ross and I bought an orange shirt. I, I wanted to, I originally thought about making a tunic, but I was like, hey, this orange shirt's perfect. What you want is the shirt to be longer on you. 
than an average shirt because it's kind of tunicky. And it comes to about my thighs. Anyway. So, we'll put that away. No, it's really easy. And then also while I was at Ross, I found these pants. And they are green. These are green sweatpants. And they have pockets, so I liked them because I love pockets. And what I, I just, I just kind of cut them. I just traced out little rips and I cut it. It wasn't that hard. And then, so these are the pants. And then with the excess fabric, I made the collar. This isn't the most eloquent of collars, but. It's really simple. I just traced out more rays on the green. And there are, I think, about eight. There's about eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's eight. There's four in the back. There's five in the back. And then three in the front. And the three in the front are longer. And then there's two. There's two side, two side rays. And then two back rays. And I went, well, I went online and just found a picture of Skull Kid. That's really the main point. And I, it sticks around like this. So I made the rays, and then I made this, I took this strip of just straight fabric, and I sewed it all together. And I make this little collar deer, dealy. Ideally, what you want to do is you'd want to make a sock like the other rays, like double-sided, and then you'd want to sew them together and flip it inside. Because these, it, it bends, it kind of curls in and it doesn't have the best effect and it's not as thick and it just kind of looks wussy. So I kind of rushed that part and, well, here's what it looks like. I just kind of curl it around. Ta-da. You'll see the whole thing later. Next. Um, I'll show you my gloves. I also cheated again. I bought gardening gloves because I don't want to make gloves. People say they're easy and I say screw you. I don't think so. I, I got these gloves, and they were hard to find because they're a lime green. I mean, how many lime green gloves are there? And I needed them to be long, because Skullcut's gloves go about here. Past the wrist. And so, these were on, like, Osh, and they're by some lady, Barbara lady, or whatnot. Anyways, they're nice gardening gloves. I just cut off the, I just cut off the fingers, and I cut this up to make it, uh, fray. And then... Here's the detail of his glove. I think it's right. I had to look at a picture of his hand upside down. And it was, I got a bad picture of it, but here's the detail. And I just traced it out with pencil, and then I colored it in with acrylic paint. Normal acrylic paint. And got it at Michael's. So that's how I made the glove. Next! So... I didn't want to make shoes, because I'm lazy. I went on eBay, and I found just your shoes. I found these lovely dealies. And they came in red, so I just spray painted them orange. They're ridiculous. They're one size fit all, but they make the costume. <clears throat> that was a hiccup. And uh, they kind of like, got, they kind of broke after one use, but then again, I, the person wearing it was walking all day. So, uh, be aware of these flimsiness of the uh, shoe lock, because it's made of plastic. And then I made more, I just spray painted more ringlets, and I hooked, looped them around with twine. Ta-da, isn't it glorious? And it has a mate. It doesn't matter which foot it goes on, because they're the same. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, it's a mirror, because I'm the only cameraman. And of course, Skull Kid has his little belt, and I... Just did the same thing. Took shower curtains, spray painted them, shot them together with twine. 